Hello guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today we're going to be talking about another meditation review and this one is Tuning Into New Potentials by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Now this meditation is fantastic. It's one of the uh, sort of top five, isn't it? Most people who have uh, gone into Dr. Joe's work and haven't delved too deep will probably still have bumped into this one. It's an amazing meditation and we're going to break it down slowly about what uh, happens during the meditation, why it's amazing, and uh, why it's in the top five, really. So when you first start the meditation, it starts with Dr. Joe making you put your focus on certain areas of the body and inside the body and sensing the energy there, and then widening that focus and sensing the energy around those areas. Now, it goes through many different points, and we're basically waking up certain energy centers, and we're also pulling, drawing our focus in and widening it. Now, what does this do? This tends to help the brain go into a deeper state of relaxation and go through the um, brain waves from beta into alpha, alpha. And then eventually you're going to go potentially into theta, which is amazing. So why are we doing this? Well, Dr. Joe, in this meditation in particular, is looking to make you become no one in no place at no time and you're no thing. And... What I really love about this meditation as well is that when you start to get to these points and you can feel your body and your consciousness dropping into that state of the quantum realm, I would suppose you would, would, you're dropping into, but that state where you become no body, no one and no thing in no time, it really uh, does give you that sort of sense of being totally disconnected from everything that you're involved in in your life. But then he also gives you time to sit in that space. And one of the things I love about this meditation is that little bit of time where there's no guidance, there's no talking. You go on a journey, I'm sure, I don't know how long it lasts because I'm usually a bit lost in it at that time. But it can be, I'm sure it's around three or four minutes of just silence. And you really, I've had some profound experiences in that time because it gives you a space to absolutely let go and surrender to being nobody no one and no thing and why he's letting you do that is because if you want to create from nothing you have to become nothing <laughs> uh, or if you want to create from thought alone you must become thought alone and you do and I find either I get some quite lovely colorful visuals or my body goes into a sort of buzzy feeling like you're really centering your energy then from this point you can then start to he starts to ask you to what is that first thing that you want to have in your experience you know what new potential would you like to tune into and at this point he starts to make you build your energy up for one of gratitude belief joy you're living in it you're creating a vision you're mentally rehearsing as dr joe would like to say that thing that you wish to create and the beautiful thing about that is because you have taken that time to get into a place where you're fully disconnected from life, you can make this vision feel so true for you. And you live in this space for about five to ten minutes. Uh, but obviously time is, is not linear at this point. You are just going through this vision, building up the gratitude, building up the joy. And honestly, it can feel so real if you let yourself go to it. Um, which is, you know, really, you know, a fantastic thing. And so I want you to keep that thought going. <clears throat> and um, I want you to enjoy this moment. You know, in my, in my review of this moment is this is so vital. You're teaching your body emotionally what it would feel like to have that which you want. So it's really special to get lost in this wonderful, joyful moment. And then Dr. Joe asks you to let it go and surrender it to a deeper mind so it may come back to you and that is part of the creation process that's why this meditation is really cool is because it's also about letting go and having faith in your uh, noticed act you know having faith that because you've lived in it you're going to be noticing it you know and so I'm really impressed with that moment and then he asks you to become nobody no one and no thing in no time again and so you get a bit of time just to really you know, let go, surrender to the present moment. All your power is in the present moment as well. So there's a lot of energy that can get created in that. 
and then you lift your energy back up again and you focus on the second thing. Now, I've never known why he asked you to do two things, but I suppose it's cool. You can pick two wonderful creations that you want to create in one meditation. And again, you're lifting your energy up, but because you've surrendered to that place of nothingness, you are totally free to surrender to this vision. And so you surrender, but you also lift your energy up. It's like a paradoxical moment of surrendering to the vision, letting it come, but also feeling all the gratitude, joy and appreciation for it. And so in that moment, again, you you lift your energy up and you start to really focus on that next vision. And I tell you what, it's absolutely special. And you live in that energy again, you lift it up, it feels amazing, it feels good. Now, why do I love this meditation? Because what it does is it gets you out of your own way that so you can absolutely connect to the joy, gratitude and really disconnect from anything that might be affecting you and live in that present moment within your future. So everything that we're experiencing is happening simultaneously in this infinite present moment, as they say. So you're just connecting to that future as if it's now. You're drawing your collapsing space and time on yourself in that moment. And if you can live and breathe and love in that moment, you will live and breathe and love in real life. So this is a wonderful meditation for you to get really clear on the vision of what you want. If you're someone who is very goal orientated, the perfect meditation for you because you can just tap it up. You can work your way up the ladder of the, the size of goals that you want. You can start small and then you can keep going and you can create bigger and bigger and bigger. But I want to give this meditation five stars, fantastic meditation. I hope you enjoyed my explanation of this meditation. Though it may be a bit quicker than some of the others, it's not one that I do as often, but I do love it. I'm much more of a blessings of the energy centers guy, um, just because for me, <clears throat> um, getting too fixated on one goal can make me feel the lack of it sometimes. So I like to just just change my whole energy around my whole life. But I hope this was helpful and thank you so much for watching the video. Please do uh, like, share and subscribe. And if you need any help with anything else, there are some links in the description where you can get help with me along your journey. Take care.